What do you need to know to be certified in Power BI? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Power BI is a product by Microsoft that allows you to do visualizations. So whether these visualizations are in the form of maps, pie charts, tree maps, funnels, waterfalls, and much more, you can do this with Power BI. Now, Power BI is available in two different formats. The Power BI Desktop, which is a program for your Windows machine, and Power BI Service, which is the internet version. Now, the good news is Power BI Desktop and some aspects of Power BI Service are completely free. So you can download Power BI Desktop and you can do these sorts of visualizations absolutely free. All you have to do is go to powerbi.microsoft.com to do this. Now, the examinations have evolved over the years. So we started off the 70-778, analyzing and visualizing data with Microsoft Power BI. There was also the 70-779 version, which was for Excel. This got retired in what's called Certificate Geddon, when they got rid of a huge number of exams, including 70-779 for Excel. However, the 70-778 then became the DA-100 with almost identical requirements. Now the DA is standing for data analyst and I thought at the time that Microsoft might be building up all of the various DAs, so DA-100, DA-200, DA-300. In the end, however, DA-100 was all there was. And so what's happened is they've now retired that and replaced it with PL-300, PL for Power Platform. Now, the PL300 certification has taken most of the DA100's requirements, except the very latest. And I was going, okay, why aren't the very latest in? It's because Microsoft have just launched a new certification called DP500, which is a more advanced version of Power BI, implementing enterprise skills analytics solutions using Microsoft Azure and Power BI. So some of the more advanced things that had recently come in the DA100 exam have not been ported across to the PL300, but the DP500. Now, for most people, if you want an exam on Power BI, the PL300 is now your exam to go to. So what do you have to know for the PL300? Well, you can see the skills which are measured. Prepare the data, model the data, visualize and analyze the data, and deploy and maintain assets. So prepare the data means get the data and transform it, perhaps with M formulas. Model the data will create your own calculated columns and measures, so perhaps using the DAX formula. Visualize and analyze the data, so that's creating visualizations, sometimes employing things like DAX, and then deploy and maintain assets. So that would be the Power BI service, the online version. Now let's just have a look at some of these in detail. So prepare the data. So we get the data from various data sources, including the Microsoft Dataverse, which is behind the rest of the Power Platform. So Power Apps, Power Automate, they use the Microsoft Dataverse. Clean, transform, and load the data. So get rid of any inconsistencies. Shape, transform the tables. Model the data requires you to design a data model. So we've got all of these tables. How do they connect? And develop it with calculated tables, hierarchies, and columns. Create model calculations. So this is when you use the DAX language, especially, for instance, the calculate function and then optimize model performance, make sure it's performing well. Visualize and analyze the data means creating reports, dashboards, that's the online extracts from reports, enhancing the reports for usability and storytelling, like for instance, sorting, tooltips, bookmarks, and then identifying patterns and trends. And then finally, deploying and maintaining assets. So managing files and data sets and workspaces. So those are the requirements of the PL300. The DP500, I say, is more advanced, and you shouldn't attempt this until you have conquered 
all of the objectives in the PL300. Let's have a quick look at what they are. So implement and manage a data analytics environment, query and transform data, implement and manage data models, and explore and visualize data. Now, on the outset, that seems almost like the PL300. We're querying and transforming data. We're creating data models. We're exploring and visualize data. However, when we get into it, we'll see it is a much higher level. So govern and administer a data analytics environment, including using APIs, application programming interfaces. Integrate it into existing IT infrastructure, so integrating it with Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and Azure Synapsys Analytics. Manage the analytics development lifecycle, so we're looking again at strategy, making sure things are being reused, deploy and manage assets using the XMLA endpoint and also the REST API and PowerShell commandlets. When we're going to query and transform data, we're not just get and transform, we're using Azure Synapse Analytics as well as Power BI. Implement and manage data models. Yes, we're using DAX for this, but we're also using DAX Studio, Tabular Editor 2, and Vertipack Analyzer to make sure we've got an efficient model. And explore and visualize data. So most of this is the higher end stuff in Power BI. So R and Python visuals, Power BI Report Builder, Spark Notebooks, and Azure Synapse SQL. So as you can see, this is a much higher level. And for most people, the PL300 is sufficient. With a PL300, you are basically going to be using for three quarters or three fourths of this, the Power BI desktop, and then for the final fourth or quarter, the Power BI service. Now, what is a good way in which you can learn? Now, for me, I do not follow this order, prepare the data, model the data, because it's not until part three that you can actually create your visualizations. And I think that's the other way round. People who are in business want to be able to see the data. It may not be 100% accurate in terms of the data input. It may be then you want to be able to edit the query and use the Power Query Editor to be able to say, okay, we've got this data, it's not in the best format, how can we make it even better? It might be then you want to create new measures and calculated columns. And I don't think that that is the right order. You should be able to visualize and analyze the data first. And then if there's something not quite right with the data, then prepare the data, then model the data at each point, building on the visualize and analyze the data. And then finally, once you've done all that, then deploy and maintain the assets. So how can you learn this? Well, you could go down the Microsoft path. So we have the learning paths here. And you can see there are an awful lot of them and they do divide them up into the various sections. But you'll notice that none of these actually start with beginner, they're all intermediate. Also, none of these have real hands-on. You're not developing any visualizations in them unless you're following along with particular elements. Now, another way is to use something like an instructor-led course. So you can see that there is an instructor-led course for this. It takes three days and just choosing a learning partner at random. Here we have a course for around $2,600, but it will take you through each of these different modules. Alternatively, maybe I can help. I have a course on the PL300 certification, which is around 27 hours long. So that's just slightly over the three days and it takes you through each of these steps and it builds up. So we start off with the visualizations. We create our first visualizations and then we add more control. We create different visualizations. And then later on, we get into the second part, get and transform data. And we have these practice activities, which usually end with, and now create a visualization from it. So you will keep going back to schools you have previously learned. Part three is all about modeling data with DAX and part four is about the Power BI service. And there's also over 20 practice activities in this course. So you can be sure that you are not just learning, 
but you are putting your skills to the test. Hopefully by the end of this, with a bit of help from the official practice test from Measure Up, you will be in a position to take and hopefully pass your PL300 certification. I got a review just three days ago which says the course is very well structured past PL300 exam with flying colours. So wouldn't that PL300 certification look good on your CV or resume? So if you would like to learn Power BI, then why not look at the PL300 exam, have a look at the exam skills outline, see what skills you already have, see what you need to improve and then decide how you wish to improve it. You could use one of the learning paths from Microsoft, an instructor led course, or maybe I can assist you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, then please click like and why not click the subscribe and then click the bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I hope you consider looking at the PL300 certification and seeing what those skills and the certification can do for you. Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.